everyone, this is Katherine Agee, aka Nervalism, here again with another Makeup and Film Friday vlog for y'all. I've been feeling pretty good actually the last couple days, thank goodness. Um, I haven't really gotten sick or anything, which is good and odd for me, which um, I'm glad for, so... Um, I was feeling a little bit nauseous yesterday. Um, didn't have too much for dinner, but I think it's just because I had a big lunch, kind of. I had, um, a turkey sandwich, but I put, like, the rest of my guacamole on there, and there was mayonnaise and cheese, so it was pretty hearty of a lunch. It was really good, but... Like, looking back on it, I kind of regret it because it was just really, really rich. You don't think of, like, I guess, guacamole as being really rich at the time. At least I didn't, but, um, it was, um, looking back on it, so. Very savory. Very umami. That's my, like, favorite sense, actually, because I love I love savory food. I mean, I love all food, honestly, probably, except for a very, very, very select few. And I love savory foods, to be honest. I like sweet, but if I had to choose, I'd probably choose savory. Like, you know, it's really good at Einstein Brothers, but like, I think it's like salmon cream cheese. I don't know. It's really, really good. It's the only Einstein Brothers bagel I've ever had. I've never had their sweet bagels. So. They're probably good, too. I, I wouldn't know, like I said. But anyway, um, I'm kind of stalling because it's Film Friday, but I don't know how much I'll have to talk about this movie. Um... But it's been in my head all morning, so I should go with my gut instinct and talk about it. And the movie is Tropic Thunder. I'll probably put it on my list of favorite movies ever and definitely on my list of, like, best made movies ever. Just because of the originality, weirdness, the satirical nature, the pacing, everything about it is just, like, perfect to me. Um, I went to go see it, this back before they had, um, early screenings movies, so I went and saw the midnight of this movie, it's a midnight release, and I swear, at the time, the fake previews and commercial were so honestly convincing, especially since the guy, I can't even think of his name right now, playing Al Pacino, Al Pacino, was like kind of unknown at the time, so them having this commercial for the bust a nut and booty sweat was like totally convincing. Once it got to the the Fatties Part 2 trailer with Jack Black, like, as Jeff Gordon on, you knew that it was fake, but it still was really convincing. Like, it's like, yeah, this definitely could be a Jack Black movie. Um, once it got to the Tub Speedman and the... Oh my gosh, what was Robert Downey Jr.'s name? Osiris something. Or was that the character? I can't remember his name now. I just think it's Robert Downey Jr. because he's like fabulous. And this was his comeback before... Was it before Iron Man? No, I think it was between Iron Man 1 and 2. I can't remember now. See, so yeah. My memory is so bad. I should not do these vlogs because I have bad memory. 
I swear, I can't think of what to do now on Throwback Thursday because my memory is so bad. But, um, and I think that's because of the strain my brain has had, like, being in a coma and stuff like that. Like, it's just, that can't be good for your brain. I'm glad I'm alive at all, you know? Anyways, maybe this, no, it was after Iron Man, because I remember the MTV Video Awards sketch where they was like Iron Man, Kung Fu Panda, and then Ben Stiller, I guess, I don't really remember, um, but yeah, so I think it was after Iron Man, but before Iron Man 2. And Rob Dane Jr. should have won the Oscar. No doubt. He deserves. I think he has. I think. No, I don't know if he was just nominated for Chaplin or if he won. I don't remember. I don't remember. I told you my memory is really bad. On certain things. I remember certain things and I don't remember other things. So. But anyways, back to Tropic Thunder. At the time... The main reason I actually want to see it was because I was a huge fan of Bill Hader. His part is kind of larger than I expected, I guess. Anyone expected. Lots of his scenes were with Tom Cruise, which is freaking crazy. Like, that's honestly Tom Cruise's best role ever, too. Like, because it was so out of the box. And so weird. And so, like... Seemed like something he wouldn't do, but I'm glad he was able to make fun of himself, kind of, in a big Hollywood. Matthew McConaughey was great in it, too. Oh, my gosh. Longview, Texas represent. I have to see, like, every movie with Matthew, because he's from Longview, so. Not like I don't like him as an actor anyway, but, like, he's from my hometown, so. But, um... Tropic Thunder. I saw it in the midnight screening and I just loved it. Loved it, loved it, loved it from the start. Justin Theroux wrote it too and he is like genius. I love Louis more but still. As far as the Theroux family goes, like they got some geniuses. But anyways, um So yeah, I remember after it came out, I was such a big fan that I actually bought on eBay some swag that was, I guess, given out at the premiere. It was some mini bobbleheads of all the characters. And it came with like, I think, maybe like eight bobbleheads. I paid 30 bucks for them, but I treasured those things because I love my movie swag. But, um, I just love Tropic Thunder because it's definitely up my alley. It's satirical. And that's what I love most about it, is the satire of films, the film industry, war films in general, um, kind of like action films, comedy films, just films in general, and just the film industry, and actors, and how overblown actors can be. I'm just so glad there's a movie where these actors can make fun of themselves and not take themselves so seriously. There needs to be more of that in Hollywood, definitely. Excuse me. No, oh, excuse me. Got the hiccups again. I get the hiccups a lot. 
I don't know if it's because I have breathing trouble or what. But, um, yeah. Anyways, so I'm done with my makeup. So, if y'all leave any comments, y'all like the movie Tropic Thunder, you know. What do y'all think of it? Do you hate it? Do you love it? Whatever. Leave it in the comments. Um, also, like this video. Share it if you like. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Once I get to 1,000 subscribers, I can resume live streaming. You'll be notified when I first am doing videos. And um, it'll provide me with more views. It'll be good for everybody. So, thank y'all for watching.